This herb is a huge blessing for my husband and me. If you've ever had Charlie horses or severe cramping of muscles, you might find it a blessing also. In many culinary circles, safflower is considered the poor man's saffron. And you can see it kind of looks like the stamens that the um, saffron comes from, but it is a totally different plant. Hi, I'm Mary Bourne, traditional naturopath, and I love sharing natural remedies with people. Natural remedies have been around for hundreds, even thousands of years, <clears throat> and they've stayed around because they work, and they work on humans. So thank you for joining me today. I hope that this uh, video is informative and that you like it and that you give me a thumbs up and uh, comment and perhaps share with somebody else that could use this information. Uh, if you are interested in the subject and have something to add and would like to comment, I'd love to hear from you. And if you subscribe and click on the little bell below, then you will be notified each week when I do these presentations. So take a look at this beautiful herb, but also check out all of these thorns. It's almost like a globe thistle. And you can see that the bloom emerges from this globular look. <clears throat> and the flower is basically what is used. Thankfully, it's not, not the stem or the leaves because they would be kind of hard to harvest. But the reason we're so grateful for this herb is that when my husband has a gripping leg cramp, we boil water, open two capsules of safflower herb, dump them into a cup and add the boiling water. Then we add a little lemon juice to flavor it a bit and two cubes of ice to cool it down so he can immediately drink it. It is like magic. It's unbelievable. He can be in the worst pain and within a minute or two, it's subsided and often gone. So it's like a miracle for us. And we are very, very grateful for safflower. We will never be without safflower herb. <clears throat> Safflower herb taken as a tea can decrease lactic acid buildup. If you've ever had leg cramps or Charlie horses, this is what's occurring often. There's a buildup of this lactic acid. Sometimes it's due because people don't drink enough water and you've got to make sure that your lymphatic system can clear out these acids. Oftentimes it happens after strenuous exercise. And what happens is that when your body is low in oxygen and oxygen is needed to convert glucose into energy, this lactic acid will build up. And We need to make sure that we are breathing, taking good deep breaths so that we can pull oxygen into the body. <clears throat> Often people will wake up in the middle of the night with leg cramp or a gripping pain. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's wonderful that you can grab two capsules of safflower herb. Let me just move my slide here. <clears throat> this is showing the tea and what the safflower looks like. And when it's dried, it looks like saffron. Doesn't have the taste of it, but back to this is the herb that we take and we take two capsules, open them up, put them into a, a cup and add boiling water and a little lemon to give it some flavor. And 
I think also it has some medicinal qualities to it as well. Um, we also then uh, put in a couple of ice cubes so that he can drink it immediately because when you're putting boiling water into the cup with uh, uh, emptied capsules, it um, is very, very hot. You stir it up and you wanna be able to drink it as soon as you can. So adding two ice cubes really helps. Uh, the other thing about safflower, if we go back to this, if you put this in a cup of boiling water, boiled water, with vinegar and let it sit, it makes a great coloring for eggs. <clears throat> and with Easter coming on, that might be kind of a fun thing to do. I've used beets to make uh, pink to red eggs. Depends on how long you leave that in there. I've used uh, pickled beet juice and that makes a great purple egg. So there, there's fun things on the internet that shows you some natural food colorings that <clears throat> you can use um, very inexpensively. Even the outside skin of a yellow onion makes a really great uh, color, uh, like a lemony color. So there, there's lots of fun uh, substitutes for the uh, harmful dyes. <clears throat> so there are studies that are rich in the um, antioxidants that are available in safflower. Uh, Chinese research suggests safflower herb may decrease the risk of coronary artery disease and reduce cholesterol levels. Uh, safflowers stimulate the production of bile, so it can relieve gallbladder uh, dysfunction, tendency towards gallstones, jaundice, liver congestion and stagnation, uh, sluggish liver function, and menstrual problems related to liver conditions. Safflowers act as a mild laxative and a blood purifier, eliminating toxins and waste acids. So <clears throat> and that's including the lactic acid that we spoke of before. <clears throat> Safflowers are common support for those with arthritis, bursitis, gout, skin rashes, and even psoriasis. So moving the blood and helping the body get rid of tax toxins can help reduce a lot of inflammation. Often toxins and infection are the cause of inflammation. So please help <clears throat> spread the word about this great herb. It is such a blessing for those people who do have cramps. It's a wonderful, easy solution and uh, there's uh, no toxicity. The one thing that I did find on the internet that if you're expecting or trying to get pregnant, it's not a good idea. Uh, it has something to do with the way it responds in the reproductive system. However, I wouldn't personally use it as a birth control. There's been no studies that, that support that it will um, do that. Now, safflower oil <clears throat> is quite popular. A lot of people know about safflower oil. We, last week, we talked about olive oil and how it uh, has been used for cooking, but it has a very low what they call smoke point, where a safflower has a higher smoke point. So you can cook at a higher temperature with safflower oil than you can with olive oil. You do wanna make sure though that when you buy safflower oil, don't buy it in big gallon jugs. Buy it in small bottles, make sure it has vitamin E in it to support the um, preservation of the oil. Uh, vitamin E is really great as a preservative and uh, safflower oil tends to go rancid quite quickly. So you do wanna use it up uh, quickly. There have been some people that have made mayonnaise with safflower. Uh, it has a lighter flavor, whereas olive oil has a very intense flavor, 
uh, making mayonnaise with safflower oil has a better outcome. Uh, you don't get that interference of uh, heavy olive. Now, some people like that, but it is a very good oil. Um, if you want to cook with, let me see here. I seem to have missed a slide. Oh, here it is. Cooking with safflower, yeah, in Arabic, safflower is called yusfer, or you may sometimes see it spelled osfer or asfer, but uh, safflower is common, uh, cheaper saffron uh, alternative used throughout the Middle East. It is especially common in Damascene cooking where saffron is not used at all. Uh, in Damascus, you will see safflower petals used in dishes like kushimashi, which is a stuffed zucchini dish. And you may also see it in the Syrian omelet called Ije. And I'm probably slaughtering the way that is pronounced. Um, but it looks delicious. I saw pictures of it on the internet. Uh, safflower rice, I made this with saffron that I got from China uh, years ago, and it is very delicious. Now, they say that <clears throat> safflower doesn't have as much of a flavor as saffron, but when you're adding onions and carrots, uh, it makes up for it. And if you want to make a soup a richer color, add a capsule of the safflower in your pot of soup and it makes an amazing rich color and really appetizing. Safflower is rich in the mineral chromium and essential fatty acids along with vitamin A, potassium and selenium. Chromium is well known as a deficiency when people are dealing with blood sugar imbalances. Uh, oftentimes it's because they are low in chromium. So finding food sources that are high in chromium is a good uh, thing to do, but also taking a chromium uh, tablet or capsule is a good idea to help with blood sugar imbalances. <clears throat> so let's go back to this. So um, if you are, interested in sharing this with somebody who you know has leg cramps or cramping of uh, muscles. Now this could be for menstrual cramps as well. Uh, we haven't tried it for that. Both my husband of course doesn't have it and I'm past that age, but it might be beneficial for somebody who is having cramps uh, because of the way it eases the muscle and removes that lactic acid buildup. So however you choose safflower, I hope that you find it. It can be grown uh, uh, easily. I have not tried growing it. It is, a, like I said, a thistle type of uh, flower. I'm not sure how it proliferates if it uh, is like thistle where once you have one, it continues to spread itself. So, um, but it is a, a lovely looking flower and of course, very beneficial in the petals. It is helpful in um, helping our brain and heart uh, because of the essential fatty acids in it and the way our body can uptake these and how interesting it is that it can help with uh, not only blood sugar imbalances, but also for uh, coronary uh, heart disease. So if you have any of that in the family, if you're struggling with waking up in the middle of the night like my father, I wish I had known about safflower back then. He would bolt out of bed and scream and, and he, you would see um, his calf muscle just cramping up like crazy. And there was really nothing we could do. We tried hot washcloths and all kinds of different things that we knew to help relax. But actually this is 
quite the miracle. And my husband and I are so grateful that we have found safflower and uh, use it pretty much every week, oftentimes uh, a couple of times a day. It depends on, you know, he plays tennis three times a week. Uh, and um, it, I think, has something to do with the fact that his leg muscles will cramp up that severely. So hopefully you've enjoyed this information about safflower and why we love it and are very grateful for it. And I would love to hear from you what herbs you'd like to hear more about. And um, if you can leave a comment in the section below, don't forget to click on that little chevron uh, where there's more in the description. I'll have uh, recipes for that saffron rice and a couple other recipes that are uh, links to. I'll also have a link for the uh, coupon for 25% off of the capsules that we use. And I'd love you to get control of your health by focusing on herbs and healthy eating. Um, make this the best winter going into spring that you can uh, by being as healthy as you can. Be sure to share these videos and don't forget to email me, Dr. Mary at bornforhealth.com with any questions that you may have um, for any personal situations. I will either be able to answer it or give you some research on where you can find more information. So I uh, thank you for viewing until next time. This is Dr. Mary for the health of it. And adding special foods to your diet can help you keep healthier. So don't forget to go out and make this a great day.